Montana Congressman-elect Greg Gianford has penned a lengthy apology to the reporter he assaulted on the night before his election, describing his actions as and quote unprofessional, unacceptable, and unlawful. And quote, Gianford also said he would donate $50,000 to the committee to protect journalists. Ben Jacobs, the Guardian journalist who was and quote body SLAMMED and quote, by Gianfurt last month, received the letter on Wednesday as part of an agreement that settles any potential civil claims, The Guardian reported. Gianfurt still faces criminal charges. I have accepted Mr. G. I. A. and F. O. R. T. E. and A. Pose S. Apology and his willingness to take responsibility for his actions and statements and quote, Jacobs said in a statement sent to BuzzFeed News. And quote I hope the constructive resolution of this incident reinforces for all the importance of respecting the freedom of the press and the First Amendment and encourages more civil and thoughtful discourse in our country. And quote, the incident took place on May 24 at a campaign meet and greet in Bozeman after Ben Jacobs asked Gianford a question about health care. Jacobs tweeted that he was and quote body slammed and quote, breaking his glasses. My physical response to your legitimate question was unprofessional, unacceptable, and unlawful, Gianfurt wrote in a letter to Jacobs, which was shared with BuzzFeed News. As both a candidate for office and a public official, I should be held to a high standard in my interactions with the press and the public. My treatment of you did not meet that standard. Gianfurt said the $50,000 donation to the CPJ, an independent nonprofit that promotes press freedom and defends the rights of journalists, was made and quote in the hope that perhaps some good can come of these events. And quote, the congressman LECT and Apose S campaign initially blamed and quote aggressive behavior from a liberal J O U R N A L I S T and quote for the assault, but audio of the incident recorded by Jacobs and Fox News reporters who witnessed the event contradicted the claim. And quote Yonfort grabbed Jacobs by the neck with both hands and slammed him into the ground behind him and quote, Reporter Alicia Kuna wrote on Fox and EWS and APO's website. That night, Gianfurt was charged with assault. If found guilty, he could face up to six months in jail or a $500 fine. The next day, he won the election against Democratic candidate Rob Quist with 50.2 percent of the vote. The Missoulian reported that two-thirds of the ballots were sent by mail before the assault occurred. At his victory party, Gianford apologized for his actions but did not address his CAMPAIGN and APOS's false statements about the incident. W, E, D, N, E, S, D, A, Y and APOS's letter seemed to address it, notwithstanding anyone's statements to the contrary, you did not initiate any physical contact with me and I had no right to assault you, I take full responsibility. And quote, The Guardian reported that as part of the settlement Jacobs had signed a release foregoing any civil claim against Gianfurt because of the donation.